Hi everyone, welcome to LNM Guitar Corner. This is Martin, I'm Lucas, and in this video we want to talk about the Martin Dreadnought Junior uh, in this Street Master finish. I got this guitar a couple of weeks ago and I was on a hunt for a let's say smaller sized acoustic guitar. I was in particular interested to play a Taylor GS Mini since I read a lot of good things about that guitar but I was also interested in comparing it to the Martin uh, Junior series. There's the Triple O Junior and the Triple O uh, Shawn Mendes edition and this Dreadnought Junior in two different finishes. There's a natural one and this Streetmaster one. Then I went to a local shop that carries Taylor and was able to play three different GS Minis but he also had a Martin Dreadnought Junior there. And comparing these guitars, I personally enjoyed the sound of the Dreadnought Junior the most because the, the Taylor, the GS Mini, was a bit too boxy sounding for me and this sounded more like a big or full-bodied guitar even though it's smaller in size. After I played the GS Mini and the Dreadnought Junior that was in stock there, I went to a different shop, shout out to Adi's Guitar in Dombion and yeah, he had this one the Streetmaster uh, Dreadnought Junior and he also had the Triple O Junior and the Shawn Mendes. So I could compare those three models. In the end it was um, a close race between this one and the Shawn Mendes Signature which is a great guitar, I really enjoyed that one and decided to go home with this one because what appealed to me is that it's a small bodied Dreadnought. When I started playing acoustic guitars I played a Dreadnought but I never felt it that comfortable and that's why I gravitated towards a different body construction or a different body size and ended up with my OM, with, uh, my Larive OM. This is a premium instrument and it's also a full bodied guitar and I wanted to have a smaller, maybe, yeah, more like travel size guitar that's also not that expensive. And we, let's quickly compare the size, just the body is not that much smaller overall the guitar the OM is much bigger uh, yeah length width and pretty much all dimensions and I also had before that a cheap Fender acoustic which is a three-quarter and yeah maybe you can see better like this the size difference is body is actually the height is not that much smaller but it's, it's more like a parlor size. And that's a three quarter and you can also see it's, the scale length is longer. This is a really cheap guitar, um, or a very affordable guitar. I bought it for about 100 euro a couple of years ago and it sold back then for 120 or 130 euro. Uh, it sounds okay considering the price, but it's overall not a good sounding guitar. And that's why I wanted something more premium. And Hence the hunt for another guitar, which brought me to this one. In terms of specs, let's go through that quickly. I have a cheat sheet here. First of all, the full name is Dreadnought Junior in Streetmaster Finish. That's the official name. It's a made in Mexico guitar. The retail price in Europe uh, on Toman is about 866 euro. And in the US, I saw it for 699 on Sweetwater. So yeah. US dollar. The neck joins the body at the 14th fret. We have Sapelli solid. Woods, uh, top, back and sides, all solid wood, which is also different to the GS Mini, which only has solid tops, but costs about the same, depending on the model. The fingerboard material and the bridge are rich light, so a composite material, a synthetic material. The neck has a 16 inch radius, 24 inch, so it is a short scale. It currently has light strings on it. Really cool feature is the nut width. It's 1.75 inch or 44.5 millimeters. I think that's pretty much the standard for Martins, right? Yeah. Which is also something that differentiates it from the GS Mini, which has a narrower neck. And a lot of players prefer this regular feeling neck. The nut material is uh, Korean. It's a white Korean nut. And this is a task saddle down here. Compensated task saddle. It has 20 frets overall, mother of pearl inlay and dots, <coughs> side markers as well. What's also included is a Fishman Sony Tone uh, pickup. Down here is the battery and your jack. And here's a volume and a tone control inside the tone hole. 
and it also comes with a kickback, which is not too good, to be honest. So I wouldn't trust it a lot because it doesn't have a lot of padding. So if you really want to take it with you and, and use it as a travel guitar, you should upgrade the kickback. The tuners are Martin branded. They are non-locking. They work fine. They hold tune very well. Um, overall, I'm very happy with the tuning stability. And yeah, a little close up of the finish. The Street Master finish is maybe not for everyone. When I first saw it on pictures, I wasn't a, a big fan, to be honest, because I, I preferred the natural look uh, or the, of the regular Dreadnought Junior. But seeing it in real life, I think it re looks really cool. What surprised me with this guitar is also with that, uh, yeah, with that street master finish, that it was not that extreme as you can see it in most pictures online. It yeah, looks much more like uh, artificial relicking than it does, at least when you're holding it and playing it. Yeah. And what I uh, enjoyed a lot when I played this compared to the regular triple O junior is that the street master it feels a, a little bit more worn in. So everything is a little bit rounded over and that's why you also pay a premium. The natural finish Dreadnought Junior costs around in, in Europe 750 or 745 euro. So this one, the upcharge of about 120 euro is due to the finish and the different feel. Also the contours here, it's all rounded over. There's nothing poking you and so it's a really comfortable guitar.
So now the verdict. Uh, what threw me off a little bit when playing this guitar was the scale length. Yeah, I'm used to playing the triple O twenty eight, and that's already a, a shorter scale length. But this one, it's close to twenty five inch. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and this one is even shorter. So I really struggled with placing my fingers at some point. So this is probably something to get a little bit used to. Well, yeah, especially if you're playing Fender guitars or yeah, a full size dreadnought. Uh, this might be something, especially when you're playing finger style. I think when you go for specific, real, uh, more detailed stuff than mm -hmm. just a, just a chord, it has certainly a different feel. Um, yeah, and my verdict after having this guitar for a couple of weeks now, I like it a lot. I think it's very comfortable, and it's just the overall size of the body. It's not too thick and not too wide. I enjoy the, uh, the short scale of the guitar. It plays nicely, in my opinion. Holds tune very well. Uh, I think the finish looks cool, so I'm really happy with my purchase and my first Martin guitar. Of course, it's not a premium Martin. It's a made in Mexico one and it's less than, than 1K. But that's also great uh, because having it as a small travel guitar that you can also plug in, it's, it's great to take with you and it doesn't take that much space and with the price, of course it's not a, not a budget guitar, but it's not something I would be afraid to take with me. The thing on the other hand that I really liked is the body size. Mm -hmm. It is somewhat reminiscent of a triple O in its size, yeah. so it doesn't feel like you're having a small guitar in your hand when you're used to triple O's. Even though, uh, yeah, it's way more compact than a real triple O uh, that's due to the scale length and everything how it's positioned. But mm -hmm. yeah, all together it does not feel like, like a small guitar in your hand. That's right. And I think that also translates to the sound. It doesn't sound that boxy or especially as boxy as some other small guitars sounds. I think it's a relatively well balanced tone overall and doesn't sound like a small bit guitar so I overall enjoy the tone of it not relative to the size just overall I think it sounds good it has the characteristics of a dreadnought without being that boomy yeah due to the shape and maybe that's also what threw me off a little because I felt the body size of yeah a regular guitar and then you have that a lot shorter scale length yeah I know, I, I know what you mean yeah so, so it's you're not getting what you're expecting at first, but that's something you get used to when playing it, so... Absolutely. That's, so That's not a minus, that's just something to be aware of. If you have any questions about this guitar, or would like to share your opinion about Martin guitars in general, please leave a comment down below. And with that, thanks a lot for watching this video, and see you around. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.